Hey guys, what's up? It's once again mp4podcast.com and today we're looking at Sega Vision. Strider is awesome. Uh, yes, Strider was a pretty good arcade game. Uh, so let's take a look into, at the magazine. So here we have Clax. Of course, I never played this. I think it was a music puzzle game or something. You know, content sort of, you know, book pages to go to in the magazine. Uh, more reading. Uh, Whip Rush. Uh, Final Zone, two games being put up by this company. Whip Rush looks like a side-scroller shooter. Final Zone looks like a top-down shooter of some some kind. Um, here's the cover to the other magazine. Uh, Shadow Blasters. And we have Insector X. Maybe another type of side-scroller shooter. Uh, Thunder Force 3. I gotta really try this game. I never really got into the Thunder Force series. I think there was a Thunder Force of something Thunder. It was really big on the Turbo Graphics, and it got ported to the Sega CD, but they changed the uh, the audio track for some reason. I heard the Turbo Graphics version is actually better. I think this game is also on the Turbo Graphics. Um, if you want to check out somebody who's an expert on Turbo Graphics, check out Spider One A. Like, Spider One A. Um, I'll leave a link in his disc in, a, in the description box. I also also think uh, he's on my check checkout channels. Seventy com seventeen companies have been er have earned the right to display this sale, the official Sega Genesis sale of quality. Um, yeah, I kind of think that's a little bit of a bullshit because Acclaim, LJN, Arena. Uh, probe, uh, like all all the crappy companies that made games for, um, you know, the Sega Genesis, all those sub companies of acclaim, all got approved. Uh, here we go. What, what good games we got here? Uh, nothing really interesting. Techno Cop kind of looks like you know, kind of like a cool sci-fi for the '90s. There's some good games right here. I just have to, you know, don't know too much about them. Strider. Strider was really big in the arcade. I believe it came out for the NES, maybe the Master System, but I think the Genesis was the best port. Um, I never really got too much into Strider, you know, so I don't really know too much about Strider, really, but from my understanding of the Genesis... Uh, version I think is the best home ported version. Nintendo don't. Yeah, Sega was really on that roll. Nintendo don't. You know, like when I got the Sega Genesis, it really was revolutionized from going from 8 bit to 16 bit. It just seemed like 16 bit brought out what it was trying to like almost come across to like these are the tools we got we now have a system that can do good two dimensional graphics like what if an artist can draw it you can make a game out of it now I wish I had a turbo graphic system I had a Sega Genesis I had a Super Nintendo and all all those systems you know no matter what system you're, you're playing on they all pretty much had good 2D graphics, and I'll be an, I'll I'll admit I am not a fan of the 8-bit Nintendo. There are some games on the system that I really do like, that I really do enjoy. The, you know, I know there's some people that really love that system, and you know that's cool, man. That you know they have something that they like, but I've always felt that the system was, you know, it was just kind of held back just from. It, you know, it just seemed like it couldn't process what it, you know, it needed to process. When you play games like Double Dragon, you get it on Nintendo. It's not the same as the arcade. There's just too much being pulled out of it. You know, the sprites are smaller. Yeah, maybe they kind of get the gameplay similar or whatever. But when Sega Genesis came out, that was the whole thing. Nintendo don't. They could pretty much take an arcade game, port it to Sega Genesis. Most of the time, you did get a pretty good port, for the most part. Afterburner 2. 
I don't remember playing this too much. I think I might have played it. Uh, you know, of course, Michael Jackson, Moonwalker. Same ad from last month's issue. Uh, Pat Riley's Basketball. I mean, you look at Pat Riley's Basketball, and then you look at, you know, EA's Basketball, you can probably figure out which one was better. Back, the very first EA Basketball was actually called Celtics vs. Lakers. And, um... I kind of be interested in seeing a side-by-side -side comparison of these two games. I actually might do a video on that, maybe. Ghostbusters. Herzog. Some type of shooter. It's, these are some of the games that probably got approved for the uh, Sega Genesis seal of approval. Tengen. Renovation. DreamWorks. Sesamic, TechSoft, Electronic Arts, I don't know how it's, I, for, Cornet, I don't know, Segus, Creations, I think my friend was a fan of Populous, never really got into that, Genesis gets an A, who gave Genesis an A? Looks like Sega gave themselves an A. Techno Cop right here. As you can see, this guy's jumping on this car. Kind of reminds me of that game that's on PSP. I can't remember the name. I know they gave it away for free um, for the Welcome Back package for the PSP games. Here they got that comic book. Aerial Assault. Columns. Columns was pretty much the replacement for Tetris because, you know, Nintendo had, I think, had an exclusive deal to have Tetris, but then there was some legal issues with Tetris because then Tendron made their own Nintendo copy and so on. But some people said uh, Columns was better. Uh, some people like Tetris better or whatever, but uh, I'm pretty much a Tetris guy. I never really got into Columns. Not because I didn't like columns, it's just because on the, when I had the Nintendo, I had, um, I didn't know, I didn't have Tetris on, on Nintendo. I had it on the old Game Boy. And after playing that much of a, you know, of a, well, those types of puzzle games, sometimes you're not really in the mood to play another one. eSWAT. You know what I liked about 16-bit graphics is that it, it kind of seemed in a lot of ways that it was coming together with animation what could be drawn on the you know in a cartoon could in a lot of ways could come out in a two-dimensional way to a degree and you know you could feel like you were somewhere wrapped around three different types of art styles video games comics and animation and they were kind of coming together as like one entity uh, in some in some ways in some degrees I know they're all three different art styles or you know art forms and stuff stuff like that but everything back then was two-dimensional comics now when people draw comics is 2d and video games are 3d and they don't really seem like those um, seem like they like you can put you know if you just grabbed you know a video game and a comic and mash it up and come up with something else that's what was real special about 16-bit. Uh, you know, the Genesis, the Turbo Graphics, uh, the Super Nintendo with anime and all that stuff. It was it was a beautiful time to be in, be a gamer actually. Uh, Alex Kid uh, never really got into this. I think on Nintendo it's uh, Adventure Island. I think Alex Kid is made by Sega, but maybe they licensed the game out to another company, and they allowed them to change the name. Now I have to admit, it's, it's always something that's a little uh, weird, but a little unique about Sega Master System games. Sega Master System games have always had a white um, checkered um, background, which I always thought was kind of weird. Like they would draw what they wanted on the front of the cover, and then have this, you know, I want to say it's kind of like, uh, what do you call that thing in Star Trek, the holodeck? But the holodeck is is um, black and yellow, where a master system is white and blue. I think these are blue stripes. 
uh, blue lines actually but it's kind of unique you know you look at it you just like you know master system you know box and I have to give Sega a lot of credit a lot of credit especially for the Sega Master System uh, in the Sega Genesis those cases that those games ha come in are uh, still in good quality right now um, I'll admit I am a, uh, more of a Super Nintendo fan uh, just because at the time you know it was two years later when the Super Nintendo came out you know we had more colors on the screen um, the sound chip was better on the Super Nintendo but the the paper boxes that are made out of the Nintendo cases don't hold up as well as the Sega Master System boxes and the Sega Genesis boxes so mad props to Sega is that like there it's not a 1-800 helpline but it's a 415 helpline you know get stuck in a game um, looks like an airplane racing game or something yeah leave me alone um, what game is this the only game in the league and I know this must be like Sega's sports game oh no this uh, Lakers versus Celtics Jordan's Air Show, Bird in Flight, Barkley, Gorilla Dunk, uh, Clive's Glide. Now, um, this is a little backstory about Charles Barkley. Um, if you guys don't know that he was in a Godzilla comic book <laughs> put out by Dark Horse or something, it was kind of weird. But uh, if you guys are a Charles Barkley fan, and if you're into Godzilla, try to hunt it down. So, and I think it was published by Dark Horse, pretty much. Uh, Paperboy. Never really got into Paperboy. There's a lot of people that love Paperboy. Sword of Vermilion. Um, James Buster Douglas. Fire Shark. Seems like another type of 2D top-down shooter. Target Earth. These are by DreamWorks. So that's it, guys. Um, if you guys are interested in Nintendo Magazine reviews, check out uh, Nostalgia Holic. I'll put an annotation for his videos and links in there. There will also be a link for Spider 1A and. Um, Tune in next time for another amazing uh, Sega Vision Episode 3 coming out pretty soon. Now, I have to admit, these these videos take me so long to produce. Um, I put a lot of hours and time into producing these works. Um, as you can see, my quality is really amazing. Uh, you know, I use, a, I use a laptop. I use a mouse. Um, with a with a scroll wheel I do use a scroll wheel so I want to state that um, I use screen capture software and I use a headset so I'm talking about really high production value and I really do pr pr uh, pr appreciate all you guys who watch these videos they're in such high quality so once again guys I'm just goofing around take care guys mp4podcast.com sign out later bye